Hi everyone, in this video we'll take a look at QuantMod, which is an R package that can help us when working with financial data uh, to retrieve data from the market as well as display rich charts. So uh, to get started with QuantMod, uh, you can um, install uh, the QuantMod package, a simple command to do so within your R IDE. So if you run the install package with QuantMod, it should install the dependent libraries as well and it shouldn't take more than two to five minutes to install the packages and set up. So once you have uh, QuantMod installed, uh, so let's get started with some examples and a um, few common things that you will want to do with uh, QuantMod. Um, so first things first, let's uh, add the library QuantMod. As you can see, it's uh, also loaded the required packages. So now that we've uh, added the library, um, so let's take a few examples. So one uh, most common activity is using QuantMod kind of uh, breaks down into one of two things. So one is to uh, retrieve the data. And uh, once you retrieve the data, you could um, analyze the data and then finally to visualize the data uh, through charts. Uh, so to get data from QuantMod, you can run the command get symbols, and uh, within get symbols, you can specify uh, the name um, of uh, um, the symbol itself. So let's say, for example, we want to retrieve Apple. Um, you can see it's a simple command here, and uh, what's interesting is uh, every symbol that you retrieve uh, behind the scene, it uh, it actually creates an object uh, of that symbol. Um, you can retrieve multiple symbols uh, within one call. So, say for example, if you wanted to retrieve Apple, uh, you can um, uh, add multiple symbols by adding a semicolon. So, let's say we want to add Google, uh, we want to add Amazon, and uh, say for example, we want to add, uh, say, Microsoft. So uh, within one single call, you can retrieve multiple symbols. And you can see each one's uh, being downloaded as a separate object. You can see the class type of uh, each of the object here. I mean, you can already see it in the preview here. But this is the underlying class of that object. So say, for example, if you wanted to explore Apple, uh, so head of, uh, Apple. Oops typo there. So here you can see that um, it, uh, it gives you the OHLC data, the open, high, low, close, uh, and the volume of data. And uh, if, you, uh, if you didn't provide any parameters, uh, the from and the to, uh, it uh, typically takes the defaults and gives you quite a lot of uh, data. Uh, again, it's uh, dependent on which uh, source um, uh, you use to uh, specify the retrieval of the data. By default, I believe it uses uh, Yahoo for data, but you can point it to uh, Google as well as um, even local database stores like MySQL. Um, if you wanted to retrieve data for a specific date range, you could provide that as a parameter, so get symbols. Um, so say again, we'll do Apple this time. So again, Apple, and uh, you can specify a from and a to parameter from and uh, a to um, to parameter. If you did not provide the to parameter, it'll use the current date. So let's just say, for example, we wanted to retrieve Apple data um, from the beginning of the year. So let's say uh, 2015. It needs to follow a Y year first, followed by month, and then the date. So uh, the first of the year uh, to let's say. Um, 2015 okay so you get the general idea I'm not going to put two um, so that it uh, pulls it up until the current date so as you can see uh, by default uh, it pulls it all the way to the current date and again if you did uh, provide a two so yeah 2015 let's say let's pull four months of data zero four uh, zero five uh, until May all right so now you can see it's um it's it did what it was expected it pulled all the data uh, for the pa uh, for five months. 
So now once you've uh, extracted the data, um, you, you could of course explore the data using native uh, R capabilities to filter for the data. Uh, and again, you can compare um, the date ranges across multiple instruments like um, across Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, and see uh, certain trending patterns, if you will, across these. And of course, uh, you can uh, use this data in other packages uh, to do things like principal component analysis or uh, see how uh, the change in one um, uh, instrument like uh, Apple uh, impacts um, the change in other related um, industries and other related stock uh, symbols. Now, once you've gone past uh, retrieving the data, now is where things start getting more interesting is, um, is uh, to actually uh, display those charts, uh, visualize that data. So uh, you can do that using the chart series command. So chart series. And let's uh, display the data for Apple. So you can see um, this is where the quant mod package, as you could imagine, is really powerful. Uh, through simple commands, it's easy for us to do basic uh, chart visualization. So by default, if it did not provide any parameter, uh, it shows the, um, uh, the OHLC data as well as the volume data. But of course, uh, we can add our own uh, custom indicators to that. So for example, if, uh, if you wanted to add uh, the, uh, a MACD, so for example, uh, all you need to do is add MAC D and leave it as the default parameters and uh, say for example if you wanted to add um, other um, attributes uh, I'm sorry other technical indicators like uh, say the Bollinger Band so add uh, Bollinger Bands you can see it's a very easy package to work with also um, uh, if you did not like the current um, uh, theme you could change that as well so let's say for example you wanted to uh, visualize uh, uh, the chart in quant mod so that it looks uh, similar to your favorite any one of your favorite charting packages like say in this particular instance if you wanted it to look similar to uh, the stockcharts.com package, uh, it's fairly easy to do that. Um, it, you can provide the required parameters here. So uh, here, candle charts, let me go back here. So candle charts, I can sp specify the parameter like um, multicolor is equal to true. And also set the theme to be white. You can see, uh, fairly easy for us to change the look and feel, change the theme so that it's uh, it's a lot more pleasing. Again, if you like a black background or if you like a white background or a white theme, you can see how quickly uh, QuantMod can adapt uh, to those particular uh, individual tastes. Uh, also, um, you don't have to call um, all the commands are uh, one by one. In fact, you can chain it together. So uh, inst uh, if you like me, um, like to see charts always with uh, uh, the MACD and the Bollinger Bands. Uh, you could add that um, uh, fairly easily uh, as a parameter here. So you can set uh, uh, TA is equal to, and then you can add add um, Bollinger Bands. So just so that I don't make any mistakes, let me just uh, copy that, add Bollinger Band, and uh, put a semicolon and add MACD. And uh, let's say for toxic, uh, let's add uh, it for a different one. So we'll add it to Google this time. And you can see it's uh, it's given you all the um, the technical uh, indicators within one single call. Also, um, um, you may recall that Google um, the data was uh, downloaded um, for. Uh, quite a big date range and maybe that's not how you wanted to visualize that so you could still provide a parameter here uh, to retrieve a, a subset of that data so instead of retrieving the data for a smaller date range you may want to retrieve the data for a much uh, longer um, period of time but you can provide a filter here um, uh, it's called subset um, and uh, here you can again specify the date range so uh, here say we want to see it from um, say the beginning of the year 2015 um, one 
and all the way to uh, the current date or again you can specify the second date parameter so uh, if you did not provide any parameters here it would or values here it will um, use the default date so right now I'm gonna specify a parameter so again um, all the way to say May uh, here you can see uh, uh, you know simple examples of uh, using quant mod so again uh, very easy to visualize um, the charts are very very clean and very crisp uh, however it, it doesn't of course just like most other R packages it does not provide an interactive canvas for us to use so I can't click on something or just mouse over and see um, uh, see the values the OHLC values but anyway that's uh, not a, a restriction for uh, specific to quant mod it's uh, kind of like the way most uh, R uh, visualization and charts uh, work by default uh, so quant mod does a great job at it so that was uh, a quick overview of uh, quant mod and some of the things that uh, you can do with quant mod most of the examples that I've shown you uh, are pretty much uh, ones from uh, the website itself so uh, you can uh, try out a few other examples if you go to uh, the quantmod.com website and you can see under examples uh, there's um, a few other interesting examples that you'll want to um, uh, run through and also have a look at uh, the gallery um, it's a good inspiration for uh, some of the things that uh, you can do with quantmod and some of the data visualizations and charting capabilities uh, as well as the ability to add your own uh, technical indicators uh, to the chart so hope this has been helpful look forward to seeing you on the next one cheers bye